Right, Sean Evans here at Lift Hills and Thrills, and today we're at the Legoland Discovery Center. Yeah, I'm a big kid. I'm going to play with Lego all day, and I'll see you inside. That's a big Hagrid. Right. Like a little piece of Jupiter. You got the, the, the standard uh, Merlin green screen photography. Last time me and Ash came, they didn't let us in. We're in. I booked the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, you booked the wrong one, and I booked the wrong day. All right, into the lift we go. We got VR experiences here. There you go. how the Lego is made, uh, all the, the mixing, the heating, molding, painting and cooling process of how the little Lego bricks are, are created. More photo opportunities. All right, Kingdom Quest ride. This looks like a shooting dark ride, a trackless shooting dark ride inside the Lego Discovery Center in Manchester. <laughs> Get in. That was as bad as you thought it was, oh, and, I, and I can't film on the ride. So I couldn't take you on the ride, but you missed absolutely nothing. The guns weren't working, it was not calibrated, it was terrible, it was really bad. Alright, welcome to Miniland, and straight away, literally where I've just come from this morning, it's got the, the Ferris wheel on the pier, and we've got the Winter Gardens at Blackpool, and then of course, we've got the iconic Blackpool Tower. And the flying machines from the Pleasure Beach. Bing! Hey, look, Manchester Media City. And then we've got Old Trafford on one side. And Man City on the other. And the great thing about Miniland at Legoland Discovery Centre Manchester is they've got Alton Towers. <laughs> Don't look down. <laughs> Miniland, even though the lights are all gone out. We're out into this little VR coaster experience and a play area. So you got the Ninjago City Adventure, we got the Lego Studios Ninjago Tour, and uh, build and test races Lego. Little uh, Master Wu games from Ninjago. Look at the bins. It's got uh, Master Wu. Oh yeah, the build and test. They've got the Ferrari one coming to Legoland Windsor. Oh, you're just trying to have this out. Yeah, there's big Ferrari ramps and stuff like that. <laughs> you your little glasses. And we pick a seat, any seat. But all the characters are taking up broken seats. We're in the splash zone. A big telly. Let the show begin. So the story was about a cop chasing a robber and the effects were about 20 seconds out of time with what happened on the screen but it was okay for kids, it wasn't great though. 4D was actually alright and it blended with some of the lighting effects at the front of the stage so that was quite cool as well. Yeah, so you got the, the actual ramp where you build your stuff, you got your podium and you've got a coffee shop and another ride here called Merlin's Apprentice which looks like a little spinning ride, looks quite cool. Merlin's Apprentice. Right, you can't film on the ride, of course, but we got some pedals, so I didn't know exercise would be involved, but uh, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> right, so the aim, the aim of uh, this particular section is you build a tower and press the button to see if it will uh, <laughs> stay standing in an earthquake. Right, the Burj Al Sean and the Burj Al Ash <laughs> earthquake test. Really? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, the spires come off mine. 
I've gone for Arabian architecture. <laughs> oh no. It's safe to say I won't be taking up architecture anytime soon. <laughs> and here you got like a little town that you can drive around on. Little red buggies. And you got a little play area over here. And that's the police officer from the, the city 4D experience that we've just watched. They're missing a trick here. They've got all the kids in the little red ones. Why don't they have the big red ones and then adults can go around in them too? <laughs> I think that'd be great. Now there's a giant Lego character from, from Meet and Greets in the middle. Play area where children are never seen again. We got a climbing wall on a conveyor belt there. You just keep on climbing. There's plenty to do. There's definitely plenty to do for kids. That is mint that. Love that. Right, I'm going to get a drink, see what the damage is with the prices in here. Coca-Cola freestyle machine, £2.80 unlimited refills. That's not too bad. I've gone for a strawberry Fanta. Never had that before. It tastes lovely. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Oh. Always, always back the winner. Always back the winner. Of course I won. I'm battling children. <laughs> yeah, I said you feel proud of yourself. Being two, I, do. I do. A two and a half year old and a three year old. I, I feel great. Space mission. And a really big Buzz Lightyear. Looks like he got a tooth missing. You on Batman? Lego Docs, thank you for visiting. And it comes out into the into the merch shop. You got all your Lego City stuff, all your Ninjago stuff, all your cars, all the rest of it, and all the expensive stuff. Well, it's all expensive, but more expensive stuff. Oh, <gasps> Mario stuff! And for annual pass holders, you get a little bit off. You get ten percent off instead of twenty percent. So there we go. There's Legoland Discovery Center here at the Trafford Center. Do I think it's worth it for kids? It's, it's okay for an afternoon to uh, pass away the time. Is it good for adults? Absolutely not. That place actually has an adult's night. It was definitely a kid's attraction. If it had bigger, more adult-friendly attractions, yeah, fair enough, but not in there. Anyways, bit of a strange one. But it's still a good day out for the kids all the same. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That fountain's absolutely stunning, and I'll see you in the next one.